good morning. Well, it's morning for us. I don't know about good. <laughs> it is debarkation day, and we've gotten surprisingly all of our stuff packed back into our Every suitcases, luggage. Brand. Yeah. <laughs> well, we bought a couple things, and somehow, uh, yeah, we always think we'll take a little extra space because we know we're going to buy a couple things, and then. I think our stuff multiplies. Our stuff grows, you know. <laughs> We're eating on the ship, so somehow, you know, our luggage gained weight. Yeah. So we're uh, we're all packed up with just the stuff we're going to carry off, but we went ahead and had them take some of the luggage off. But debarkation day is always such a challenge because you have to like, be up and off the boat by like 8.30 in the morning, which isn't bad except it's around vacation. And um, man, I wish there was a better way to do it, but I, I, sus I suppose any way you do it would be bad. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So we'll uh, try to document some of our time uh, eating breakfast and getting out of here. But for now, good morning. So one spot that I will say that has become, we've noticed is a problem area is here at the end of the desk in the corner of the bed. It's very, very narrow. I mean, it's not much bigger than my foot, but yeah, so um, I think our biggest critique of these rooms is that uh, the storage space is just, it's there. And you do have a couple of decent sized drawers Full. This one's full of stuff, but the then the other one was empty. And then you have this little skinny, you have this little skinny little thing that's about hand depth. And you've got an awkward one here. I mean, they did a good job trying to give you as much space out of the room as you as they could, but besides your closet and your yeah, the closet. You know, it's got these shelves, this top shelf, and then it's really only got one area for hanging, which again, I suppose if you don't overpack, <laughs> isn't the end of the world, but we're uh, really good at overpacking. So, but here we are, back in Miami, and this it's warm. Oh, Carnival Magic is pulling back in. Uh, that was the ship rocked tour, and I don't know if you've seen, or you saw it in the news or you know, on uh, cruise news or whatever, but the other side of that ship is pretty beat up. It ran into the pier in Ocho Rios. But the winds ran into the pier several times, but uh, very newsworthy yeah. <laughs> so we've all eaten our breakfast we're a very lively bunch <laughs> and we've already we're already in like post cruise walk of shame depression walk of shame. <laughs> like, we still have another day in Miami come on now. <laughs> all right all right all right so we're a little bit happier now <laughs> Wendy's omelet fell apart. I grabbed more bacon than a person should eat in a month. Didn't mean to, they were stuck together. It meant they were mine. <laughs> So we're going through the maze of tables and finally leaving the ship. So it's uh, as excited as we were to get on. It's amazing how everybody's in the massive hurry to get off as well, but whatever. Everybody's friendliness and courtesy seems to disappear on the last day, but it's all right. We're all good. Have a fantastic uh, 
We had a fantastic cruise, had a lot of fun. And now we're making our way. Wow, it's like a, a maze. So, all right, we're walking through the theater and on our way out of here. Yeah, it's kind of a, a final tour of the ship. many laughs, and we're uh, ready to do it again. Disembarkation day is such a, I guess, bummer would be the right word, right? You had all this fun, you get off the ship, you gotta lug your luggage, get in a taxi or Uber or whatever, and head back to the airport. And then you look over at the ships, and you see those boats and you know people are just about to get on them to have all the fun you had last week and it just kind of drives another nail in the heart, right? Or maybe that's just me. We got to our hotel way before check-in time so we rested a little bit and then headed out to enjoy Miami. We're gonna go over to Bayside for a little while while we're waiting on our hotel to open up. Um, our rooms won't be available for a while, but that's okay. We can find ways to entertain ourselves. We'd love to help you book your next vacation. Check us out at sandysuntravel.com or if you'd like, you can call or email us. The Bayside Marketplace has its own little walk of fame. It's kind of fun to see the names on the ground as you walk by them. I love these trees. They're called banyan trees. And if you read the little plaque, I guess they're native to India and they can live up to a thousand years. So this one's a hundred years old and uh, hopefully it has 900 more years left in it. For Melissa and I, no vacation is complete without a little bit of shopping. We read a book called The Love Languages many years ago and while they didn't list it in there, we've discovered that Melissa's love language is shopping. So we do a lot of shopping, but that's okay. As it turns out, Tom likes shopping too. Hey, so we are at Margaritaville here in Miami. I have an awesome backdrop behind me. And we're uh, gonna enjoy a few drinks and some appetizers. And um, it'll be fun. Okay, so we got some sort of cheesy cheesy shrimp dip. We got some quesadillas, and then we got the sampler platter here at Margaritaville. The Southwest chicken egg rolls are fantastic. The shrimp dip is out of this world. The quesadillas are all right. We had a little accident where we spilled, and we think the manager it was jumped right on top of it and took care of things. So, And when I say we, I mean me. I reached over and knocked Melissa's drink over and made a mess of things. It was in her lap and in her purse, and it, I couldn't have done it any better. So we have that going for us, which is nice. We tried to watch the Super Bowl at Plaque Market in Bayside. And while we think it'd be a great place to hang out for a little while, it's certainly hip and happening, although that makes me sound really old. The music was super loud, which makes me, again, sound really old. But if you're trying to watch a football game, it's probably not the greatest place. Otherwise, you probably have a great time. All right, so 
So we are sitting in the hotel restaurant. We're watching the big game tonight. And uh, so far, so good. All right, so here we are. It is Monday morning and we are in our messy hotel room. We stayed in Miami yesterday, as uh, you probably heard from earlier in this video. But we are packing up, getting things together, and I think we're both very excited to get back home to our own bed and our house. You know, there's nothing like going on vacation, and honestly, there's nothing like getting home back to the familiar. So we'll get back to home and back to the grind and back to playing with grandbabies and you know all the fun stuff that goes with going home. We're already like, we've got to go to the grocery store, we've got to do a little of laundry, blah, 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 blah. So vacation is kind of officially over because we're already in, <laughs> in home mode, but uh, it's been a great time. I hope you've enjoyed our videos. If you have, please hit that subscribe button and uh, like this video if, uh, if you would. Melissa caught some amazing shots of the clouds and a sunset, as well as some really cool shots of Chicago that we wanted to share with you. So we've thoroughly enjoyed sharing our vacation with you, and we hope you've enjoyed watching it. We'll see you next time.